Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. I do a lot of indie palette reviews, some unboxing. So if you guys are into that kind of content, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I love to have you guys here. And for this video, we're going to be reviewing, it's going to be my first impressions, well, based on doing an eye look because I already did the swatches earlier to save me some time. And plus it gives me time to, like, to think about the swatches and everything and play with the swatches. So we're going to be reviewing the Nomad Cosmetics Santa Village palette. And first off, look at the packaging. I adore the packaging so much. This takes so much effort. Like, look at the details, guys. It is like a stencil, like cut out. Oh my gosh. And here's the back. So this is like a nine pan palette. Because with Nomad Cosmetics, they always travel and then they always base wherever they travel to make a donation like based on that location um this is limited edition palette as well it only retails for 29 dollars this has nine merry color formulated with extra fine pigments four making spirit bright mattes and five you could even say the glow shimmer toppers inspired up by the christmas inspired by the christmas tree of santa village in finnish lapland infused with cowberry seed oil to help keep cool colors as fresh as winter air it's cruelty free and vegan 100% plastic free from a house to your house. So they make the donation based on the the Finnish Association for the Nature Cons Conservation. So I think that's really cool based on, on Finland. So this location is based on Finland. You guys, so as you pull out of the packaging, you see even this, it shows the detail of this, of the little home, like a little Santa, little village home. It's so cute. I am a sucker for packaging. This is like such beautiful details so this palette is limited edition and oh i love anything that has to do with the skies i love sunsets i love night skies i love galaxies i love those colors you guys and this color story well i think they did a really good job based on this like it's really nice very holiday vibes so i already swatched it so it doesn't look as pretty now since i put my finger on them i dig my finger so let's talk about the swatches first and then we're going to do an eye look okay, so these swatches the quality with nomad cosmetics they're really good like they're really good like their mattes are very soft and then usually most of the time they're always easy to work with too but they're so soft to touch like they feel good to touch and their shimmers i gotta talk about the shimmers because these are like some special shimmers i think a few of them i think i think they're all dual chromes like all these four i could be wrong but they they seem like dual chromes to me, but the only thing, like these three right here, they're really sheer. The ones, these three in the middle, like this one and that one and that one, they're really sheer. So you really have to build it up. Like they're very like iridescent kind of shimmers. And the one that's more deeper, which I prefer, are these two. Uh, when I swatched these two especially, I think these two sh shades, they're my favorite shades from the palette. And then my third favorite would have to be this one. And then this one so i'm more like leaning towards these shades for my preference but these are really pretty too so i haven't done looks with them so i think this will be really nice as toppers so i'm not sure how they'll apply on the eyelids i haven't seen videos like surprisingly i haven't seen videos i just been so busy so i had this palette since november 4th like november 4th and today's a sunday it's the 20th now so it's been like what two weeks already since i haven't played with the palette so today was the very first day i swatched it and yeah i can't believe it. time flies man okay well anyways so that's all i have to talk about the swatches another important thing i want to mention these mattes hmm oh, especially this one i love this matte the quality of this one such a pretty beautiful like ray matte like i love this matte a lot and these two they swatch fine too so all of obviously my swatches are built up but the only matte this one seems like more heart press like it's not as soft so that's the only thing i have to mention but it it has a lot of pigment to it so so we'll see you guys we're gonna just do one eye look for this video i want to do something different like i haven't seen videos i've seen looks on instagram or whatever but i haven't seen like reviews like actual reviews i haven't had time guys but what do i want to do <laughs> maybe my favorite shades i'll probably do a little bit hint of red that's why i put a little bit of red blush from persona cosmetics and also i used from Ulfra Cosmetics to mix them in. Let's try this this white Christmas shade. This shade is pretty light, so let's see how it is. So, this is gonna be a really light shade. Oh yeah, that's basically like a white shade. So I'm not sure what I'm thinking, but it'll be a nice shade to diffuse. 
So it's just, it has a little light gray base to it too. So they're really soft, guys. I have a few Nomaya Cosmetic palettes. I have their last launch, the Hudson Valley one, the Magica Cartagena one. I have the, I have some old ones, the Toscana one. Um, there's another one I have that's really old. I'm not sure if it was sold through. Like it was an Ipsy exclusive. Uh, they were also with the skulls. I can't. I can't think of the name right now. But I have that one too, and I have the Halloween one. The Halloween from I think last year. I got it during the sale that they had. I don't think they have it available anymore, so they're probably sold out. But yeah, I love their formula. Like the mats, they're just so soft and easy to work with. They are pretty pigmented too. So look at the light shades. Let's use a gray shade. <laughs> I might mix these two, the gray and red. Mm, I might do that. So let's do it, guys. So we're going to mix a little bit of the Santa shade and then a little bit of the elf shade. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure how it's going to look, but... I mean, I could have done it one shade at a time. But I kind of changed the shade, so it's a little hint of grayish red so I'm just gonna have it like that it's really cool all right and then I'm gonna get the white Christmas shade and when I get that I'm not gonna clean my brush because I kind of still want the pigment there but I'm just gonna basically go over this and just kind of help blend that I'm just gonna tap it so it's turning more like a like a reddish, like a light tint up red. All right, so let me clean my brush now. <laughs> so right now I'm just experimenting. This is my first look. Just wanna try like a different color combo, different look. And I'll give you guys my my first impression thoughts of this palette. I feel like this palette might not be like for everyone. Like the shimmers, they're really pretty. Like the iridescent looking shimmers. They're so sparkly. They do remind me of this what do you call this aura i love this i wish i could see this in person it'll be like a dream just to see the what you call them the northern lights or like the aura bor no, 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 i don't know how to pronounce it let me get a little bit let me mix that in again the red and the gray all right so let me just put that in like kind of deepen it and yeah that's pretty cool I'm gonna clean my brush and then I'm just gonna I know it's really like such a contrast but I'm just gonna bring the whatever pigment right there left over I'm just gonna spread it right here so I'll really kind of diffuse it without getting any more extra shade because I clean my brush so I'm just doing like a little hint of shade right there yeah I'll just go like that Oof, I really have to be careful. I'll kind of make them the same. Usually I don't combine shades. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and just go like that. And just like that. And I'll probably bring out the shade more. Like, fade it out. Have it fade out. Get a little bit of the white Christmas. So my white Christmas is going to help you diffuse the shades a little bit. It's a nice diffusing shade. But I think I'm gonna use this towards the end and I think I'll use this in the inner part. That's what I'm thinking. So do I need a glitter primer? We'll try without the glitter primer first on this side. We'll do it without and then I'll do the glitter primer on this side. See if it makes a big difference. So I'm gonna use my brush. I don't think it's gonna... Ooh, might be hard panning with the brush. Yeah, these are so sheer. Because when I was doing the swatches for these three, I really had to keep building them up because they're so iridescent, very like sheer, but they're very sparkly, very like magical. That's why they're, I think they're better for us toppers or even in their corners, especially. It's going to add like a little magic touch, but I really love it though. It's really different. I don't have anything like this, uh, but I don't have iridescent shades like these. So yeah, that's what I can do so far. I'm trying to build it up. So it's kind of getting dirty. It's, it look, it's almost looking like it's hard panning 
from my brush, but I'm not sure why. So I'm really, 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 really building it up. It's oh, so pretty. Look at that, guys. <laughs> and so let me use my finger and see if I get more pigment. Yeah, a little bit. So that's cool. Okay, Ooh, I like it. All right, so let me use a little bit of glitter primer on the other side, see if it makes any difference. All right, so I'm gonna use some NYX glitter glue on this side, see if it makes a difference. So I'm only gonna get a little bit, like this, a little bit. And yeah, and then I'm just gonna pat it. And I'm just gonna Oh yeah, that definitely helps. Yeah, it definitely helps. It could stain on more and it's getting more pigment. So I see you guys. Get yourself some NYX glitter glue. It took me like maybe half a year <laughs> to get one. Like it's my first, like I just recently got it like this month. And now I'm like obsessed. It makes a big difference. I think it's adding more of an impact. Like it's looking darker. Wow, oh, so I don't think you even need to use my fingers on that side. All right, now we're gonna use the shade Sauna. So let me clean my brush off again. Let me clean this brush off, the same brush I'm gonna use. This one's a little bit more pigmented, so I expect a more, more like a punch to it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure if it's the brush. I don't think it's the brush. Hmm. Well, I don't know if it's a brush or it's just hard padding on me. So this one, yeah, I, I had to dig into it. So maybe it's, I can't tell if it's a shade, but we'll test it out again on the other side. Ooh, look at that mix. I'm going a little bit more right here. Wow, their shimmers are so pretty. This is such a moody, <laughs> moody. Even though it's, it's look kind of Christmassy, but it's also like magical at the same time. And we're gonna see. Have glitter glue on this side. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm not sure if it's just me or these shadows. But I really had to like, I mean, to add more a punch to it. So you have to build up these shimmers. Oh, but oh my God, so pretty. And I like how it's looking like right here. Mm, kind of want to put a little bit more right here. So yeah, that next glitter glue does make a difference, guys, if you guys could tell. Because the purple looks more darker right there. All right, now for the bottom eyes. I use this gray right here, this shade Elf. Mm. Yeah, this is my favorite matte, I mean, from swatching it, and it's still a beautiful shade. I mean, I did mix this with the red too earlier, but this is me seeing it for its true pigment instead of mixing. Get a little bit of the red, the Santa shade. Okay, and I'm just gonna put the red right. Okay, I'm just gonna put the red right here. All right, and let's see. Now for the inner corner, the inner corner. Ooh. Either I could do the gold or I could do the turquoise. <laughs> oh, guys, guys. Okay, let's do the the winter lights. <laughs> Let's be adventurous, guys. I was gonna use this shade. It'll look great with this shade, but this one's gonna, it's gonna make it wild. I'm just gonna use my pinky. Oh, yes. Pretty. And I'm just gonna put it right here, too. And just like that. Yeah, so this is the final look before I add I think I'm gonna add lashes. This calls for lashes. It's getting dark, but I love it, guys. I love this look, you guys. I love it, love it, love it. It's so different. So I guess this shade right here, Winter Lights, was a good choice. 
So, yeah. <laughs> also, I'm really vibing with the look, but I think I'm going to put lashes on and then I'll be back and give you guys my final thoughts about this Santa Village All right, palette. guys. I'm back and yeah, I took a bit while because I had a different lip combo and it was too much. I had like a dark purple lip combo and hmm, needed to keep it simple because it's all about the eye look and yeah, if you guys are wondering about my deets, the lashes I'm wearing, oh, I'm so, so impressed with these lashes. They are from Brand Beauty and they're in a style Daydreamy and the band of it is super, super thin. So it's, it was kind of hard to put them on, but kind of easy at the same time. So it makes it like look really natural. The lashes, like the lashes, it, like it looks like invisible, like the band. For my jawliner, I use my oldest eye mint gel liner and then the mascara. I use Item Beauty Lash Like Mascara. I always use this. It's like, it's just so good. It's like my favorite mascara. Well, this is all I have my lips. I have my Dami Cosmetic Lip Liner Shade Crush. And then I have this on top, the Galactic. 3-in-1 Sparkle Balm in the shade Periwinkle. That's why you see little, little, little shine. It has a mix of purple, so it's looking like brownish purple. So I wanted to keep it like something glowing in the lips, but subtle. But yeah, I'm really happy with this makeup look. Really happy. It came out really nice. So now let me give you guys my final thoughts about this palette. So first off, this palette might not be for everyone because the color story in a way, I mean, it looks intimidating just looking at it, but all these colors go together, like the grays, you do the grays and the greens, this is like a dark green color and this is a gray, so this will go well right here with the gold too, and then the, um, let's see, me mixing the red and the gray, that makes it like a purple, and this, actually the white, well the white is actually a white, but like mixing with the other shades that I was working with, it made it look like a purple under base. But this is a great shade to diffuse shades out to make it more faded out to diffuse shades, you know. It's a good white, like it's a really good white. It's not it's not powdery, it's just a good formula. And then the shimmers, well, I haven't used this one, but I already from swatching it, these were all thin. So I haven't tested this one out, but I tested that one. That one's really pretty. And as you guys seen earlier, I on this side, I didn't use NYX Glitter Glue, but on this side I did. The only big difference, I mean, I did see a difference on the shimmers to this side. Especially with this shimmer right here, it made it more pop popping right here in the inner part. Like it looks brighter, like more blue. I mean, it looks both, you know, they both look blue, but this one looks more brighter. I was really surprised I had to build this one up because these swatch better than these three. Suspecting that more pigment, but mm, I love these, like this. These are my favorite shades right here. You guys already know. And I love this shade too, so practically like this. If they made a quad like that, that would have been cute too, honestly. So it's just a color combination. They're gonna be a little bit on the bold side. I would think they'll be a little bit more bold, unless you keep it simple, like with the red and the gray and gold. You could do that too, more of a Christmas festive look, like original Christmas festive look. But these shimmers right here, they're just gonna add an extra pop. I have to do another look, so I'll probably do another look over my Instagram, like eventually, probably in the beginning of the month of December. But I definitely will make another look over there. And with this white mat, you could basically change any of these shades, like make it lighter. So it really does help. Like this is a really good white mat, and all the shimmers are really pretty. They're very glowy, sparkly, like iridescent, like. <sighs> Just like this, guys. Yeah, that's all I have to say about this Nomad Santa Village palette. Do I think it's worth it? Yes, I do. So it's only if you're into the color story and the quality. The mattes are great. The shimmers are, you just have to build them up, but they're so sparkly and shifty. So you, if you're into that, then I say go for it before they take this out of their website because it is limited edition. So that's a thing. I feel like they're going to take it off maybe December. I'm just, I'm just guessing, guys, but because it is like a Christmas theme palette almost i hope, really hope you guys enjoyed my review thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys all so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys